Hey, Bug, you gotta cough up 11 bucks. 11 bucks? Why is that? That's your half of the monthly blue check mark. Uh, really? We can't post the full murder podcast episodes if we don't subscribe. Well, there goes any chances of legendary and pretentious recording engineer Steve Albini ever being on the show. I wish I'd known about this before I sent out that ass sucking boot licking email. Mm, Steve Albini, that producer guy? Well, first of all, he doesn't like to be called producer, okay? He's an audio engineer, or a music journalist, or a food blogger, or a barista. Or a gear dork. Mm. Or two-time World Series of Poker bracelet winner. Or two-time Western Montana Mm. State Fair Blue Ribbon. Okay, okay, okay. Ixnay on the umbastic intro bay. What? Never mind. It's Italian for enough already. And second of all, he's also a guitarist with a pretty unique sound that a lot of people try to copy. Oh, that's cool. It's very... Metallic? Mm, What do you mean? Like Metallica? No, I mean like actual sheet metal. Mm. Like steel and shit. He uses copper pits, aluminum neck guitars. Oh, I get it. So it's like metal on metal. That's right. You've heard of the 1982 Anvil album, Metal on Metal? They were singing about Steve. Wow, that Anvil is something. Always with their fingers on the pulse. (laughs) I'll say. Forever Current is how I would describe them. Mm. Anyway, Metallica shouldn't have called themselves Metallica because they use plastic and wood, those pussies. Mm, Pussies. They should send Steve Albini 11 cents every time they sell an album. No, they should. Although he'd probably tell them to stick it up their pussy asses. Really? So he's a spicy fella, this Albini. He is, yeah. Plus, I think it's become a little bit of a rite of passage in punk rock if Steve Albini shits on you. Just a little bit. Kind of like when we shit. Our little bird shits on everybody. Exactly. It's exactly like that. Like little bird shits. Little conversational bird shits. Look, look. This is him talking about Led Zeppelin. Were you into Zeppelin growing up? Not really, no. (laughs) This is about the Beatles. Their music hasn't meant the world to me the way it has to other people. Nirvana. The Nevermind album. I have to admit that I wasn't the biggest fan of it. Ska. They haven't killed Ska for fuck's sake. How are they going to kill rock, you know? Mm, So Ska's not dead. Fuck. He raised about fucking fascists. I am no friend to fascists or any of the other political swine that cover the earth like gnats. Wow, even fascists? Yeah, even fascists. Car, so nobody's immune to his bird shit. I love it. Tell me more about this spicy motherfucker Albini. Yeah, okay. Well, his first band with any major releases was Big Black. Big Black what? Nothing. Just Big Black. Mm. And the most popular record is probably songs about fucking. Songs about fucking who? Hmm? Nobody. Just songs about fucking. Mm. Anyway, then they broke up, and he put out the album Two Nuns and a Pack Mule. Well, that sounds like that might be the answers to my last two questions. Yeah, cool, that's good. In which order, though? Mm, well, what sounds better coming out of the beak? Okay, well, let's see. We got uh, songs about a big black pack mule fucking two nuns. Mm, okay, not without its charm. Or, I guess, two big black nuns singing songs about fucking a pack mule? You know what? They're both disgusting and offensive, yet somehow pleasing to my ears. <laughs> you know what, Bobby? You just described the Albini sound. All right. Wait, wait, wait. That last album, what was the name of the band? Does that say Rape Man? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Rape Man, yeah. That was his band after Big Black. They took the name from a Japanese comic book. Mm. He's actually addressed that a bunch of times over the years. Mm. He says it's pretty regrettable. Mm. I mean, it's a great record, but anytime you're naming something after a Japanese comic book, you're rolling the dice. Word life. Either that or naming something after an anal cunt song. Woohoo, eh? see. What's your favorite? Ah, well, I mean, of course I can't say my top 30 out loud into a microphone. Right, right. Career suicide. Yes, totally not to be fucked with. Might even get arrested for some reason. Uh, But other than those, I'd say lately I've been partial to beating up hippies for their drugs at a fish concert. Nice. So just a straight narrative. That's right. And you? You know what? I keep going back to I made fun of you because your kid just died. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I, I don't know. After all these years, I still just cannot picture a scenario that might inspire that. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Anal cunt. The gift that keeps on giving. An embarrassment of riches, yes. Anyway, Steve Albini's also recorded like a billion artists. Here's a partial list. Wow. He's a whore. Yeah. But hey, wait, 38th down, did I see Nirvana? Yeah, that's right. But he did say he wasn't a fan. Well, I think it was more from a mixing standpoint, but yeah, you could always trust Steve Albini to be Steve Albini. I was not a fan of Nirvana before I started working on that record. Damn, Steve Albini be Steve albini than a motherfucker. Right. And always with the little bird shits. That's right, little bird shits. Yeah, but see, this is an area where Steve and I are kind of on the same page. You don't like Nirvana? Yeah, it's not so much Nirvana as it is Dave Grohl. You don't like Dave Grohl? I don't think I've ever heard of such a thing. Mm. What do you fucking hate Paul Rudd too? Uh, wait, wait, wait. I never said I hated Dave Grohl. It's not me and Courtney Love against the world, okay? I just prefer the Chad Channing years, that's all. Really? What's wrong with that? Nothing. Bleach is a great album. You're just missing out on a lot of good stuff. I don't know why you can't just listen to all of it. I meant if given a choice between the two. Ah. I mean, say you're at a restaurant and they only have two things, linguine and ravioli. What do you pick? What, there's no meat option? Mm, it's just a hypothetical. Hey, man, I can't help it. I'm a crow. I kill what I eat. Mm, come on, linguine 
your ravioli. I guess I would try the mustacholi. Fuck you, it's not on the menu. You stupid mustacholi. Bas fas fratz. Yeah, but, 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 and you and your fucking stupid fake Italian. <laughs> My point being that if you choose linguini, it doesn't mean you don't like ravioli. Yeah, but can we get back to Albini, please? Albini? What is that? Oh, is that the little corkscrew pasta? I'm talking about Steve Albini. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Albini with the big black pack mule fucking the nuns. That's right. Ish. Sorry about that, Buck. No sweat. I haven't eaten yet today. I have pasta on the brain with the linguini and the ravioli. And then the mustacholi. No, no. There was never any mustacholi. There was never any mustacholi, asshole. Hey, don't forget incesticide. Some slam and Chad Channing cuts on that one, too. Mm, oh, yeah. And Dave Grohl. So maybe we just cancel that one out? Yeah, should we set aside incesticide? Mm, let's set aside incesticide. Let's set aside incesticide and go inside. Oh, wait, we're already inside. Sorry. Get carried away. So what's Steve Albini up to these days? Well, besides recording other people, he's been playing in a band called Shellac since 1992. Mm. It's probably my favorite of all of his projects so far. Dude, incredible. Damn, my ears are ringing though. Right. It's like if a copper hammer was ass fucking a piece of sheet metal with a roll of nickels. Mm -hmm. And they have a new record coming out. What's that now? I say Shellac has a new record coming what? out. I'm sorry, Bug. My ears are ringing and such. Never mind. I'll admit my hearing can't really take it anymore. But I gotta say, I still wish there were more bands out there that would poke my ears in the eyes like that. Well, you know what? Steve has his own studio in Chicago, actually. So anyone who wants their music to fuck sheet metal in the ass with a copper dick hammer or whatever can actually book him as their engineer for pretty cheap. Wow, he's that accessible, huh? He is. So yeah, he's a whore, but he's the good kind of whore. You know, like an affordable whore. Mm. An accessible whore. Right, right, like a street-walking whore. Exactly. He's like the people's microphone. Mm -hmm. Oh, speak of the mm -hmm. devil, Steve just actually returned mm. my email. Did you just ask me something? And you know what? Oh, it looks like we have a surprise guest via the interwebs. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Steve Albini himself. <laughs> hey, it's Steve Albini. Welcome to Murder, Steve. Hi. Hey, Mr. Albini, I hope you're not too offended that we pay for the blue check mark. It's just that our video clips are too long to... M Mr. Albini? Hello? Steve? Mm. Oh, man, oh, Bobby, why did you have to mention that right away? I told you, he would shit all over that. I'm sorry, Bug. I was nervous. He just popped up all of a sudden. Shh, and why are you yelling? It's the shellac, I tell you. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. My toes are still tapping, but my ears are still ringing. Oh, fuck you and your credulous ears. Mm. Hey, great acoustics in there, I bet, though, right? Mm. Did you hear the sound of his chair when he got up? What? 